السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر کڈس ہاؤ آر یو ٹوڈے ہوپ یو آر کیپنگ ویل اینڈ ان دا بیسٹ اسٹیٹ آف ہیلتھ اینڈ ایمان ان شاء اللہ ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ اے کمپینین آف دا ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وََ وسلم ہو واز آنیسٹ ٹروتھ فل جسٹ اینڈ ہیڈ ان ڈیپتھ نالج آف دا قرآن لیٹ اس پرے دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ میکس اس آف دوز ہو adopt these amazing qualities internalize them and be a role model for people around us and our progeny inshallah the companion of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam we will talk about is hazrat abdullah bin masood razi taala anhu his name was abdullah and his father's name was masood the youth had heard the news of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam who had appeared among his people but he did not attach any importance to it both because of his age and because he was usually far from makkan society it was his habit to leave with the flock of uqba bin muid early in the morning and not return until nightfall one day while tending the flocks abdullah rizala anho saw two men middle aged and of dignified bearing coming towards him from a distance they were obviously very thirsty and tired they came up to him greeted him and said young man milk one of these sheep for us that we may quench our thirst and recover our strength i cannot replied the young man the sheep are not mine i am only responsible for looking after them the two men did not argue with him in fact despite their thirst they were extremely pleased at his honest reply the two men were the blessed prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his companion hazrat abu bakr siddiq razi taala anhu they had gone out on that day to the mountains of makkah to escape the violent persecution of the quraish According to Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud ta'ala anhu Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam then asked for a small ewe and stroked its udder whereupon milk poured out Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud was astonished and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and Hazrat Abu Bakr ta'ala anhu had milk to their heart's content and also offered the delicious beverage to Hazrat Abdullah He too drank to his fill and the ewe still had milk in it so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam commanded the ewe to stop milking and it returns to its initial state Hazrat Abdullah ji zala anho immediately asked to be taught some of these words and prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam began to teach him the Quran Hazrat Abdullah ridala anho later said that he learned many surahs from prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam from a very young age the young man in turn was impressed with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his companion and soon became quite attached to them it was not long before abdullah ibn masud rizala anhu became a muslim and offered to be in the service of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam agreed and from that day the fortunate hazrat abdullah ibn masud rizala anhu gave up tending sheep in exchange for looking after the needs of the blessed prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he was the sixth man to accept islam hazrat abdullah ibn masud razi taala anhu remained closely attached to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he would attend to his needs both inside and outside the house he would accompany him on journeys and expeditions he would wake him when he slept he would shield him when he washed he would carry his staff and his siwak which is a kind of like a toothbrush and attend to his other personal needs it was for these reasons that the sahaba ritala anho took to calling him sahib e miswak sahib e nalain which is basically bearer of the slippers and they gave him lot of these cute names like sahib e mutahara bearer of the water and sahib e wisada which is the bearer of the bed roll Hazrat Abdullah ibn Mas'ud razi taala anhu received a unique training in the household of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he was under the guidance of the Prophet Muhammad himself he adopted his manner and followed his every trait and it was said of him he was the closest to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam in character 
Hazrat Abdullah Rizala Anho was often mistaken as one of the blessed household. Abu Musa Ashari, may Allah's blessing be upon him, says, When we came from Yemen, we thought for some time that Abdullah was a member of the blessed household because Abdullah and his mother were constantly coming and going in the Prophet ﷺ's presence. Hazrat Abdullah Ridala Anho was the best at reciting the Quran among the companions and he understood it well. He was therefore the most knowledgeable on the Sharia. Nothing can illustrate this better than the story of the man who came to Hazrat Ubar ibn al-Khattab as he was standing on the plain of Arafah and said, I have come, O Amir al from Kufa, where I left a man filling copies of the Quran from memory. Hazrat Umar Rizdala Anho became very angry and paced up and down besides his camel fuming. Who is he? he asked. Abdullah ibn Masood, replied the man. Hazrat Umar Rizdala Anho anger subsided and he regained his composure. Woe to you, he said to the man. By Allah, I don't know of any person left who is more qualified in this manner than he is. Let me tell you about this, Hazrat Umar Rizdala Anho continued. One night, the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was having a conversation with Hazrat Abu Bakr about the situation of Muslims. I was with them. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left, we left with him also. And as we passed through the mosque, there was a man standing in prayer whom we did not recognize. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood and listened to him, then turned to us and said, Whoever wants to read the Quran as fresh as when it was revealed, then let him read according to the recitation of Abdullah bin Masood. Like I said before, Hazrat Abdullah Rizala Anho was the best at reciting the Quran among the companions and he understood it better than them all. He was therefore the most knowledgeable on the Sharia. Abdullah bin Masood Rizala Anho attained such a knowledge of the Quran that he would say, By him besides whom there is no Allah, no verse of the book of Allah has been revealed without my knowing where it was revealed and the circumstances of its revelation. By Allah, if I know there was anyone who knew more of the book of Allah, I will do whatever is in my power to be with him. Hazrat Abdullah Rizala Anho was not exaggerating in what he said about himself. Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood was the first man to recite aloud the words of the Quran before a gathering of the Quraysh. The companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam were together one day in Makkah. They were still few in number, weak and oppressed. They said, "The Quraysh have not yet heard the Quran being recited openly and loudly. Who is the man who could recite it for them? I shall recite it for them." Volunteered Hazrat Abdullah ibn Masood. We are afraid for you, they said. We only want someone who has a clan who would protect him from their evil. Let me, Abdullah ibn Masood insisted. Allah shall protect me and keep me away from their evil. He then went out to the mosque until he reached Maqam e Ibrahim, which is a landmark situated a few meters from the Kaaba. It was dawn and the Quraysh were sitting around the Kaaba. Abdullah began to recite Surah Rahman. The Quraysh looked at him intently and some of them asked, What is Ibn Umayr Abd saying? Woe to him! He is reciting some of what Muhammad brought. They began to slap his face but he continued reciting. When he concluded his recital, his face was covered with welts and blood. By Allah, said Abdullah Zitala Anho, the enemies of Allah, are more uncomfortable than I am at this moment. If you wish, I shall return tomorrow and do the same. You have done enough, they said. You have made them hear what they dislike. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Masood did Hijra three times, twice to Ethiopia and once to Medina. He participated in every ghazwa. It was he who beheaded Abu Jahal in Badr. It was to him that the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ presented Abu Jahal's sword as a share in the booty. The Caliph Umar sent Abdullah ibn Masood to Kufa to educate the people and to take charge of the Baitul Mal. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Masood lived to the time of Caliph Usman. 
In either 33 or 34 A.H., Abdullah Zitala Anho passed away to the company of his Lord, his tongue moist with the remembrance of Allah and with the recitation of the verses of his book. Subhanallah, what a hero, isn't it, dear children? Let us end today's talk with a sincere prayer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness, taqwa, knowledge of his book, and make us of those who have memorized the Quran with understanding. Ameen. Till next time, look after yourselves and do say your prayers on time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.